Hello everyone, my name is Sloan and welcome to my YouTube channel. So almost exactly a year ago, I filmed and posted my very first ever YouTube video. I think it was August 8th, so I'm a little bit late on this, but very close to a year ago. And my very first YouTube video was plant shopping at a local plant shop called Knoyers. And so I thought the perfect way to kind of commemorate a year of YouTube would be filming another plant shopping video here. And actually this is the first time I have been to Knoyers all year. So I'm really excited to see what kind of plants they have. I know that they occasionally do have rare plants. I don't know if they do today, but yeah, no sense in me continue talking about it. Let's go see what they have. So we can start out over here. This is their Hoya section. It looks like there is a Hoya Carnosa Compacta and 15 for the that size. And the little two inch is seven. It might even be like a one inch. And there's some other Hoyas. So I think these are the Australis Lisa. Oh my gosh, yeah, and they're only seven. I really like that price. Hoyas are kind of hard to find where I am. Yeah, all of these are seven. Sweet. I would say like they're getting easier to find. Um, there's a Hoya Carry Eye for variegated for 15. Hoya Crimson Queens for 15. See how much these big compactors cost? They are 25. Okay. Yeah, I'm happy with these prices so far. Like, just Hoyas, a trailing Hoya, Carnosa Compacta here would normally be a, a lot more than that. But this is a beautiful specimen. Tempted to buy one because mine's kind of small. Also, I'm really bad. This is the queen. That's the princess. I'm just, I'm just terrible at. I think I mislabeled the one just now, but you get it now. And I think this is a way eye. Yeah, 15. Cool. Over here, there's some chunky money trees for 25. My money tree is growing like crazy. And then there's a ton of pothos. So this is a marble queen, I think. And it's 20 and then there are a bunch of CB blues for 20 um Skidaptis Argerius I think these could technically be no they're definitely Argerius that one has no price this one also has no price so I don't know but these uh neon pothos are 10 so those are probably like close to 10 maybe a little more yeah there are some ferns over here for 35 This is a hurricane fern. I used to really want these, but I like them better in pictures than I do in real life. That happens sometimes. That's why it's nice to see plants in real life before you buy it. Um, this ZZ plant is 30 Some Pilea peperomioides for 30 There's lots of little babies in there. And then down here, these look like they are a little sun bleached so it's a prince of orange yeah definitely a little sun bleached it's been really hot here so it happens and there's some peperomia up to some folias up here these are 10. down here is a philodendron something where are you green princess i feel like they add the name princess just to like Make it seem cooler. Some peperomia over here. Don't know what kind. Maybe a frost. Don't know. And like this really big trailing basket of philodendron in Brazil. That's actually is quite beautiful. How much are you? It is 60. Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. I think I found the like semi nope not even semi i found the rare table so we're skipping we're skipping to this spot so i'm excited so this is the skin dapsis pictus and it is 30 
and then philodendron painted lady this is one of my absolute favorite philodendrons they are 50 and they are really great specimens they're very yellow very very pretty this is oh this is an epipronum pedatum albo for 50 not super variegated but not terrible this one weirdly you know has the least amount of leaves it's the same price but it has the best variegation but i don't know that i would i think i'd probably still go for like one with more leaves because this one hard to tell how healthy it is you know um this one's 50 and it's a philodendron glad hands here is a um Raphidophora cryptantha for 30. really cool growing up the planks there's some monstera dubias here these are such cool plants only for 40 that's a great deal for where i live like that's actually that's a steal do i want one I don't know. Um, there's a Syngonium Frosted Heart back here that is huge. Like, just pulling off of the, the moss pole and it's 180, I think? 160. And we're in the Anthurium. And Anthurium are really hard to find where I live. So I'm excited to kind of see they look like so this is the magnificum silver for 125 this one might be the same oh this is a forgetty eye yeah it's definitely different you can tell by the the lobe um this one up here maybe is a forgetty eye i'm gonna check all the anthurium because i don't know i never see them so this is the forgetty eye silver for 115 but I never see them, so it's hard to tell. So I'm not great at IDing them. That one's flowering. Um, and then there's a silver sword for 250. And it's pretty big. I'll show you maybe when it, it'll be less backlit on the other side. I think this is a, uh, oh, what is this called? I don't know. Anthurium reflexinervium for 115. Actually, not what I expected. Ooh, I think I see one that I like over here. Is this a Bellinorum? I think it is. Oh no, it's an Anthurium pinky eye. Don't even know what that is. 425. It reminds me of the Bellinorum. It's pretty cool. There are a ton of alocasia. They're not really alocasia. I don't remember colloquially people refer to them as alocasia, but they're, I think they're colocasia. I don't know. These are 40 in their Colocasia Hilo Beauty. I killed mine. Good times. There you can see the Silver Sword a little better now. Um, there is a Begonia. I don't know what kind of Begonia this is, but it's pretty in pink. And this is a dark Anthurium Brigidii for only 100. It's probably just been a little too hot in here for these guys. Um, this one is Anthurium Magnificum. It's only 80, which in comparison to the other one, so it's definitely cheap. This one's beautiful, so, and it's got some like, that's like a perfect leaf, pretty much. I wanna see what this leaf looks like. Yeah, that one's very close to perfect. What are you? It's 240, so it's maybe the most expensive, and it's the Anthurium Bessier pronunciation may not be correct. Ooh, what is this? It's the Anthurium Venoso for 115. There's so many Anthuriums I don't know about. It's cool looking. And maybe this is like a little forgetty eye. This one's in pretty good shape. Like, that leaf is not looking great, but the other leaf looks really good. Um, yeah, it's a forgetty eye for 125. I don't really like the forgetty eyes. I don't like the round it's kind of weird to me yeah that's the the rare table at least the first one i don't know if there's any more we'll find out over here looks like some syngonium this is a mango illusion for 12. it's kind of fallen over but you can kind of see what it looks like it's like a lot of syngonium and oh my gosh another hanging there's so many hanging baskets of brazil so many but that one leaf this one is, oh, can I even, there it is, it's huge, oh my goodness, 
Also, I'm running into plants. There's more Syngonium over here. I'm guessing this is the white butterfly. And then down here are a bunch of Alocasia, which is fun. I think this is the Bambino. No, it's a Poly. Duh. For 10. And then I'm guessing these are black velvets. Yep, for only 15. Those have gone down so far in price. So far. But, you know, I don't think I've really appreciated the purple backing until today. It's quite pretty. I'm not letting myself buy any more alocasia though, because they, I, like, look at this one. Freaking two leaves. They always have just dead leaves. I don't know. Not loving alocasia. Like, I like the idea of alocasia, but just the idea of them. Over here are some philodendron. I don't know what this is. What are you? 35. Doesn't say what it is. Um, there are some Monster Adamsonii's. This is only 30 and it's pretty full. I think this is, pro oh my goodness, it's falling out. I think this is a Philodendron Fuzzy Petiole and it is like really falling out. And it's 35, which is like the cheapest price that I've really seen on these around here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, fallen over. Let's see, is this another one? Yep, there is another one. You can see the stems are looking fuzzy. There's quite a few plants in this particular specimen, actually. I think this is a philodendron silver stripe. I don't know, it looks like kind of stripey to me, like a cream splash or something. And it's only 10. So I don't need this, but this would be a good find if you were wanting one. And there is a philodendron Florida Beauty. This is the red stem variety, so it's not like the variegated leaf variety. Over here are some Monstera Deliciosas. This doesn't strike me as the place that would like miss a variegated one, but oh my gosh look at all those aerial roots. That is bonkers. How much are you? Oh wow, it's only $25. Hmm. Um, up here are some Rapidophora decursivas. This one is like, very um, fenestrated. And these are, I think this is like 30. This would really come down in price too. Yeah, only 30. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm gonna knock things over. Ooh. That is a beautiful silver sword, and it's not huge. Like, I like, this is a good size. It's much bigger than mine. It's only 40. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. It looks like there might be, like, a few other cool things up there, but I can't really get to them. We'll try the back later as I work my way around the room maybe and maybe we can get to them. Actually, we'll head back there now. So there's a Monstera Pinopartita for 140. That's the this one. Um, but other than that, it's kind of hard to tell what these are. Like this is very full. So it's a red Congo for 220. Uh, what else? I think these are all Pinopartitas. Yeah, this one is 140. And this down here, what are you? It probably just says philodendron, I'm guessing. So it kind of reminds me of the other ones that just said philodendron. That's a Rojo Congo for 30. There are a lot of two inch plants over here. As you can see, some of them look a little thirsty. Again, it's really hot, but I really like, I think these are just Skidia, I'm guessing, from Glasshouse Market for 35. Those are fun, and you know, this would be a great way to get this tiny baby Maranta if you really wanted one for a pretty good price. Because, oh, yeah, these are only four dollars, so it's a great place to kind of look for little starter plants if you wanted a little starter string of pearls. Although, I think string of pearls are a lot easier to take care of when they're bigger. Over here is the something spaghetti, I think. Yeah, agave spaghetti strap for 20. There are some 
Bird of Paradise. This is 35. It's a little pricey for Bird of Paradise in my humble opinion, but that's okay because I feel like the other stuff is priced pretty well. Here's a ponytail palm and it's 35. There are a bunch of cacti over here and way more hanging Hoya. Um, this is a really big, it says Hoya Carnosa, but it's definitely like variegated in there. I would show you more, but it's definitely very backlit. So it's kind of hard to, to really show you like what's up high. There is this really big string of hearts for 50. It's very thirsty. Again, I don't know what wouldn't be thirsty. You can kind of see more up there of the hanging stuff, but again, very hard to kind of see right now. But there's this string of turtles. I don't know how well you can see that, but that is a very healthy string of turtles for 50. Those are some plump turtles for sure. Over here are some bigger string of pearls. This is 25. Here's a variegated Opunta cactus for 50. I like those a lot. I don't know if I said it right. I definitely didn't know what it was. Yeah, here's another one. That's really pretty. And another one. Ooh, variegated string of hearts for 12. Those have been popping up more around where I live. Oh, and they have pitcher plants. Looking thirsty for nine. Over here is their little ficus area. So there's the ficus altissima for 25 and it's quite tall. Some just regular rubber trees and like larger plants. Again, very backlit, unfortunately, but they do have quite a few different ficus varieties. And then over here are a bunch of Dracaena. I wish I knew what this one was called, but I don't. And yeah, I'm not gonna spend a ton of time on those because they're just not that interesting. And some Aglionema. Nothing that's really like catching my eye right now over here. And then over here, there are like the flamingo flower anthuriums which I quite like actually, this one's only 20. And then they have quite a few Calathea and prayer plants in general. So this is 25 and it's the Calathea Galaxy Star. I think this is the Stromanthe Magic Star and it's pretty big. It's only 20. It's a Calathea Sanguinea actually, so I was wrong, but it's a pretty cool one. Ooh. This Orbifolia is pretty and it's 20. This Maranto looks a lot better than the one that I have and it's 20. It says Calathea. So really that other one might be Astromanthe. I could have been right. This is tempting just to make my one at home look a little better. And the Rattlesnake Calathea is my favorite Calathea for 30. Uh, I think that's Pretty much everything. There are some snake plants over here and these tiny little philodendron that are quite cute. Oh, and they have tiny little enjoy pothos. Actually, we'll take a look at these. Only for $7. Yeah, that is pretty much everything. So I will catch up with you guys back in the car. Hello, welcome back to my car and there is no haul this time. I didn't pick anything up, but I go plan a lot. I can't buy something every time, but I hope you really enjoyed watching this video. It was a really fun way for me to commemorate having my YouTube channel for one year, kind of going back to where it all began. Um, and this is actually my second, not only have I not been there this year, I haven't filmed here since my very first YouTube video. So it was fun to come back and see what they have. Was really impressed with their prices. So honestly, like some of the best prices in the area for sure. Uh, and yeah, definitely makes me want to come here again in the future. But I not only want to thank you for watching this video, before I forget, I also want to thank you for supporting me over this last year, whether you were here from the very first video or whether you are new, whether this is the first video of mine you have watched. Thank you so much for supporting me and watching this whole video through. I 
would not have anticipated at all that my YouTube channel would be this successful. When I started it out, I really started it because I was watching so many people on YouTube film plant, like watching, you know, plant YouTube and especially plant shopping videos. They were some of my favorite to watch and like have on in the background, whatever. And I was like, man, I really wish I could watch someone shop all the stores like near where I live and then realize like, hey, I can be that person. And it was hard to kind of get over, like, I don't know, it's scary to put yourself out there. And so, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm proud of myself for making it this far and it's, I've been more successful than I ever could have anticipated. And I, I'm just so thankful to have you guys and to be able to make these videos and continue having fun with it. So that was long-winded enough. If you made it this far, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I would love it if you would comment below and I really look forward to seeing you in the next one.